Yo, what's up, everybody? This is your boy, Jay Hyde, and welcome back to the channel. And today, y'all see it, we still in them SOD2 streets, them apocalyptic streets, y'all. Um, we're not going to waste too much time with this intro. We're going to jump right into it. First things we want to do in this episode is we want to try to establish another outpost. So um, we're going to try to get that going. I need to get more materials because I want to upgrade my command center so I can get more up, up update <laughs> outpost slots. So we got to get on that. Our new base is pretty set and we want to try to appoint our leader at some point. So without further ado, let's jump into this episode. Let's get it. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and check the map out. We have a mysterious broadcast here. Uh, okay. All right. My command center is still being built here. We got about 753 left on that. <laughs> my man getting a stretch. Right? He's like, let me stretch out before I get this mysterious broadcast on. All right. So I'm thinking I might want to outpost up here. The one thing I like on the higher difficulties is I like how they hide the... um. The plague hearts. I like how you have to kind of like seek them out. All right, let's go ahead and ride out over here to this mysterious broadcast. Excuse me, y'all. Excuse me. Oh, it looked like was that a feral or was that? Oh, that's definitely a feral. Let's go. Let's go. That was definitely a feral right there. Ah, uh, hair around these plague hearts makes my lungs burn. Right, here we go. Strange signal. Hello? We are here. Hello. All right, so it looks like we lost them. Looks like he took a L. Shit, they're fucking is that, sad. Is that hurt? Actually, hurt. There she go. <laughs> All right, we got the uh, speedo zombie, the ass naked speedo zombie. Nah, bro, don't try to put your hands on me. Don't try to put your hands on me. All right, let's go ahead and uh. Get over. I'm trying to grab, dude, and throw him into the other zombie. I gotta practice this move because you know, it makes it easier to deal with hordes I mean, when you can throw them into a group of zombies. All right, let's go ahead and back up in here and see what we can do. Looks like there's a small horde over there. Let me uh, go ahead and loot this body real quick. Where they at? Where they at? Nobody on me. Can we definitely take uh, Somebody's gonna have to some of this stuff this up off your sister? Oh, is this another one of them? Look like another one. All right. Okay. All right. So let's see what we can get up here. Hopefully we can get some good stuff. Let's see what's available here. Oh, we got another visitor. Okay. Let's clear for now. Yeah. Let's go ahead and Will lay him out. Around? That won't last. It's getting a little busy over here. Did that? Oh, watch. that whole horde came over. Okay. See. Now, this is exactly what I was talking about, y'all. That's why I was to practice that move. Y'all hold that. Y'all hold that fire. Scream over there. We gotta get his ass down. There we go. There we go, y'all. Y'all come get this work. Y'all come get this work. Y'all come get this work. Okay. Okay, all right. How many we got? We got one more. One more, uh, Molly. Y'all get that fire, man. Y'all get this fire, yo. I'm trying to I'm trying to do the move right now. It's not really working out for me right now. I gotta practice. Oh shit, get my ass. Let's go. Let's go. Then those regular zombies out. I hate these uh I hate these freaking military spot zombies, man. I really do. Don't touch me, bro. I need a break. Don't touch me. Let me see if I can turn you. Yo, you up. I hate these zombies because they're so hard to deal with. They're like flame retarded, so you can't burn them. You gotta like you gotta legit fight them. You gotta legit fight them. So that kind of gets on my nerves. All right, now we can search this place in peace. We ain't got no more zombies on our ass. <laughs> we can search this place in a little bit more peace. So, well, at least it's something. All right. Chemicals, for sure. We're going to take those. You always need chemicals. Do not pass on the chemicals. All right, let's go over here and see what we got in this bad boy. Firecrackers. Uh, I used to use firecrackers a lot. I don't really use them as much as I used to anymore. Definitely not in like Nightmare or Lethal Zone. I don't like to attract too much around. attention to myself in these higher difficulties. I like to be a little stealthy. But... 
I used to use the firecrackers uh, mostly with infestations. I would, you know, toss them, draw all the zombies out, and then burn them with a molly. But uh, I don't use that strategy as much anymore. Definitely not in Nightmare, like I said. So we're going to pass on them. Now, where the hell is this last container? I searched that one. Let me just check the roof real quick, because sometimes... You get like one of the air conditioned units or one of the vents on top of the uh, roof that can sometimes be parts or what's the circuitry joints? All right, it's nothing up here. Yo, so it's got to be down here. Hands on something. Eh, somebody needs yourself? materials. It's probably going to be chemicals or something. Zilch. Nothing, nothing at all. Okay, let me just check this map out. All right, standards of decency materials for everyone. All right, Andy wants some materials. Um, so y'all know what type of time we on. You know, we trying to make some friends out here. You know, kiss some babies. You know, be the you know, <laughs> be friendly. You know what I'm saying? So we're 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 gonna go ahead and give them some materials at some point in time because you know. We want the friends because we want the zombie bait. You know, we want some backup when we in these, you know, uh, zombie infested streets. So we're going to go ahead and give them some materials at some point. Let me see if I get his ass. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. I couldn't get his ass. All right. Um, we're going to go ahead and hit my outpost real quick. We're going to stop over here and uh, offload some of the items I found over there at the auto shop. Uh, we're gonna grab another can of gas and we're gonna head we're gonna head out You're gonna head out. Oh shit. That rucksack is still sitting there now that rucksack I put there I think last episode I dropped it there if I'm not mistaken and I thought it was gonna despawn at this point, but it is still sitting there y'all I would take it, but I really don't have the room for it. I really need to go back to base at some point All right, so we got mm, I want to have the toolkits for sure in there, so I'm not going to mess with them because you never know when you got to repair your whip out here. Go we'll grab one of these, and uh, now we will ride out. All right, let me check out the map real quick. All right, so I know right here is a medical facility. I don't know what it is, but I want to make that an outpost. So we're going to head over that way now. All right, so we are here to pull. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> All right, there is a plague heart there. We are not prepared for a plague heart right now, y'all. We're going to have to load up and come back. Maybe we'll go hit this uh, infestation real quick. All right, so we're going to take care of this infestation. I don't want these things to get out of control. Um, let's go ahead. We got to work fast here because it's always hot in this area. Toss the molly, toss the that. Okay, that's going to bring all the zombies to the yard, so let's work. Okay, all uh, right. <laughs> all right, uh, let's go. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Reload, reload, reload. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, oh. All right, let's go. Let's just go. Let's just go. We out. We out. All right, get off. Get off. Get off. All right, we got a war coming. Please don't be no bloaters. All right, no bloaters. Let's go. Let's go. Get the hell out of here. Let's get them off my car. Get off. Get off, you bastards. Oh, I think that was my door. What the hell did I hit? Is that the garbage bags that be sitting there? Tell me, how the hell does... You mean tell me I can't run over garbage bags? Bro? What the fuck? Yeah, God damn it. Okay, we are back at base, y'all. We are going to come back here right now so that we can offload some stuff and get ready to take on that plague heart that we skipped um, at that medical clinic because we was not ready. So we got zombie bait with us. We are back at base right now. So let's go ahead and get this stuff offloaded. All right, so my medical storage is kind of high. Now, I did see a notification before telling me that I need more storage, so... I'm going to have to, um, let's say, upgrade my storage That's at some point in time. Actually, we'll are. probably do that right about now once I get in here and uh, handle a couple right. things real quick. What's up, y'all? I'm back home. What's good? What's up? How at your boy? How at your boy? 
All right, so um, bum, 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 bum. okay, so let's go ahead and hit the storage. We need twelve sacks of Damn, materials. We're so good great. on that. We're good for that. Okay, all right. So I do want to take care of this plague hard. I do not have the bloater gas grenades. So I think I'm gonna try to do this maybe the old fashioned way, the good old fashioned action packed way. <laughs> I really don't want to do that, but um, it should be relatively entertaining if I can't get this right. Um, okay, so what do I want to um, remote grenades? Do I want to use? I got like two of these joints. These joints would actually be pretty, and they would be pretty good, but um, I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and grab one of these. These are pretty powerful. Um, now, I'm thinking about grabbing a heavy Bad weapon, news. possibly. We here. Let's see. Where's the uh, the mallet? All right, that's, that's the beetle mallet. Shit. All right, that makes me heavy. Two of those, one of those. I got the smoke. I might, I might go ahead and use the uh, smoke method, possibly. Let's get a fuel bomb. That'll hold us down, too. Uh, I don't want to mess with the dynamite. We don't have a lot of that stuff. I don't want to use too much of my materials right now. Um, all right, let's just go ahead and I do have the biochem. We'll go ahead and uh, attach that. That's about three minutes or so. So, you know, let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and get that popping. If that is up and running by the time we get over to the plague heart, uh, we'll get that going. But right now we're going to head over and help was it Andy help Andy get some materials so we'll go ahead and hit that um and see what's up we'll take it from there all right let's go Joe you ready let's go we out holy shit look at that damn horde we out we out we out we out, we out. the damn horde is coming and we going okay so y'all remember that begging ass conclave that wanted us to uh bring them some materials well we're gonna do that we're gonna go get them some materials because why like we always say you can never have enough zombie bait. Make friends, make zombie bait. That's my, that's James Mowry. So, uh, let's, uh, there's some of this great for Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Start running up on me, man. Start running up on me, man. Bobby's always trying to come check out what's going on. All right, so let's, uh, let's go in here now and see what kind of loot we can find. Oh, God, God. We got another one here. I'm trying not to catch any more blood to play. And on a side note, while I'm over here doing this looting and scooting, I love this uh, particular melee I weapon. I love how, um, I love the sound it makes when it cracks a zombie upside the head. Like, I love that, like, bang. <laughs> I love that bang. Like, I always, I always feel like that sound is so funny in movies, uh, in shows, whenever somebody gets hit with a shovel. So, like, I love that melee weapon. I love it. Okay, all right, so we are going to hopefully find a rucksack right here. Yes, 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 we got it. Let's just uh, let's finish up here, see what we can grab. And we'll take it over to, uh, I don't even know what's the name of this damn enclave. All right, we'll take the gas for sure. Okay, rusty screwdriver, that's what I got. Install. Okay, so our biochem station is complete. We are set there, so that is awesome. what's going on over here? Yo, Joe, you over there? Joe, you over there struggling? What's going on, man? Let's get the hell out of here. We don't need to fight no zombies now. Let's go. All right, so let's head over here. They are just down the street, so we're going to take the complete ride over. All right, oh, shit, God damn it! hit the pole. <laughs> Hit the damn pole. Alright, yo, what's the name of this crew right here? Uh, the standards of decency, that's their name? That's a terrible, terrible name, yo. Hey, yo, y'all go get those zombies, yo. Y'all, y'all gotta put that work in for this sack right here. Y'all gotta put that work in for this sack right here, B. Alright, alright, good job, good job, good job. Anybody else? Anything else going on? We got a more stragglers. Andy, where you going? Thanks. All right, there you go. Later, there you go, Andy. All right, so they are now friendly. So that's a good thing. Because they are on the road to dying. <laughs> dying for the community. Sacrificing their lives for our community, the council. They are on their way. 
Let's go ahead and gas this bad boy up because we soon should be able to take on that play card to free up that uh, medical clinic so we can make that an outpost at some point. Let's go ahead and all right, let's pinpoint that right there. Okay, yeah, so that's our goal. That's our next goal in this episode is to head over to that medical clinic and make that an outpost. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, y'all, so we are making a quick pit stop because um, it's getting hot as hell around my base. The streets is hot. What I like to see. Um, it's getting really dangerous. So I need to make this an outpost. So it works out because outpost. I need a little bit more buff room. You know? I, need, I need a little bit more breathing no room place. in this zombie apocalypse. Um, it's a lot of freaks. Look at that. Look at that shit. Like, look, it's too much. It's getting a little too hot. Um, I want to try to protect my base, so we just want to give ourselves a little buff. So we had to do. Oh shit! There's a horde, and I believe there's a feral somewhere. Oh shit! All right, let's get out. We gotta fight. <laughs> Good shit, Joe. Kick him in the head, Joe. I'm gonna throw that. Hopefully that fire take cake. Run, Joe. Run, Joe. Get your ass out of there, Joe. I don't want you getting burnt up, Joe. Get out of there, Joe. God damn it, Joe. <laughs> the damn screamer. All right, I gotta get over here and take care of this screamer. You on your own, Joe. Oh shit, oh shit. We got him down. Damn, I'm tired. All right. I hate you, I hate you. I hate you, zombies. I hate you, zombies, with the, with the, uh, with the, with the military stuff on and the squad gear. I hate you. Come on, let's work it, Joe. Let's work it back to back. Back to back, Joe. Let's go. Let's go. You got him, Joe? You got him, go. I got him. I got him, B. All right. Okay. <laughs> one more. One more of these damn zombies. God damn. One more. We're working hard over here, man. My guy is extremely tired. All right. Let's go ahead and park the truck, Joe. We put in that work. Put out that horde that was coming in. You see, that's that's why I needed that little extra buffer. That's why I needed that outpost. Cause I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's something with the update, but it is getting hot. Or maybe I'm just in one of those red zones. I think I'm pretty sure that this uh this base is in a red zone. Care package. <laughs> Alright, so let's finish up dumping this stuff in our locker. We're going to go in here and grab the things we need because we are about to take on the next play card to get that outpost. Okay, so we are here. We are pulling up. Me and my man, Joe Zombie Bait. We about to get it in. All right, Joe. Let's go. You know how we do. First things first. Anybody standing around got something to lose. Let's give it to him. Uh, pull that. Pull that, bitch. Mm, choke him out. Choke him out. Come on, Joe. Don't let him get me. Come on, Joe. What are you doing, man? Don't let him. Joe, you can't let him walk up on me like that, baby. What are we doing? I can't let him walk up on me like that, Joe. Come on, come on, man. I got a broken melee weapon here. Right, let's go. All right, who we got? Anything? Anybody? Anybody else? All right, so let's go ahead and get our things ready. I like to have the RB ready so that when we get in here, of course, the door is locked. Go ahead. Like SWAT, yo. A high heaven in here. Oh, shit. <laughs> yo, get him, Joe. Get him, Joe. That's you. That's all you, Joe. Get him. All right, let me get out of here. Oh, shit. Let me get out of here. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, sir. sir. I'm a sir. <laughs> I'm not trying to catch the plague, sir. Chill out. Let's go. All right, we got like four over here, Joe. Come on. Bro, it's working. Don't catch the plague on you, Joe. I need you to be healthy. To survive in case it gets worse. All right, okay. All right, so we looking good. My weapon is still with me right now. Let's go ahead and go in. Nearly out. Okay, we looking good. We looking good. We looking good. All right, let's get on it. All right, get out the way, Joe. You do not want to be in the kill zone, Joe. What the hell are you doing, man? Joe, Joe, get the hell, Joe. What the hell are you doing? All right, that's your ass. That's your ass. That's, one down. <laughs> that's your ass. Oh, nice shit. The damn oh. territory. Too close for comfort. Way too close for comfort. Joe, you made it? <laughs> goofy ass. <laughs> ah, we gotta laugh at Joe, man. He's he's a goofy. He's definitely a goofy. Almost got his ass killed out here in these SOD streets. 
Joe, don't get close to the play card like that no more, man. When I go in there to work, I'm ready to work, man. You will get your ass killed out here. You will live up to your name as Zombie Bait. All right, let's go. Let's see what. It's like secure. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and see what this play card has to offer. All right. Okay, we'll definitely take the medical rucksack for sure. For sure. Mm, we're a little full now. Let me see if I got any room. In my trunk. Okay. Alright, so we don't. <laughs> Alright, so we are here because we were going to make this an outpost anyway. So, uh, Jay, what are you doing? What are you doing, bro? Go ahead and make this an outpost. Alright, let's do it. Alright, let's go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff. Okay. I said this before and I will say it again and I know y'all are getting tired of this. I wish there was a way that I can offload my rucksacks at the outpost and either somebody come pick it up or somehow it gets transferred back to your base. Now I know, I know there's a way to do it, switch characters and, and then they take the rucksack back but I don't always want to do that because I'm playing with this character and I like this character. <laughs> I don't always want to do that. So I wish there was another way. SOD Undead Labs, if you are listening, I wish there was a way to drop the rucksacks off at the outpost and let them get home safely. Is that it? Alright, we're going to take some nine millies. I think nine millies in this game is uh probably my favorite caliber of choice. Okay, heavy duty. Okay. Let's go ahead and clear out. We get some good loot here. Good loot in this nightmare uh, zone. Uh, Molly's always want the Molly's. We always need the Molly's. Got some parts. Okay. Da -da -da -da. All right. Uh, we'll take that book bag. Uh, let's drop that and we'll take that. Clear out that play card. We are looking good here, y'all. We are looking good, making moves, looking good, feeling good. The council is making good footing now. We have our first, is that our first outpost? <laughs> what I'm talking about. Our second outpost up and running. Oh, my I God. I appreciate that. All right, so we are going to stop over here at the Rat Bastards. They want to build a better Zed Trap OG. All right, Joe, let's work, baby. Let's work. Let's put these zombies to rest. Boom, there we go. Oh, back up off me. Back up off me, All right, so we got to go here. They want materials. So, you know, they're a little weird, but let's help them out. Yo, what up, Bub? Bub over there chilling on the leash. That's their pet zombie, Bub. All right, who am I talking to here? Uh, oh, my friend. Brundler. Brundala. And uh, 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 okay, so let's go. Oh Sorry, shit, kid. it's not oh, shit. How discouraged? Oh shit, y'all, my bad. <laughs> um, I wasn't even really paying attention. I just hit that top option. Ooh, let me get up in here. Get up in here. Just trying to pass through here. I hit the wrong option, y'all. I was trying to hit the top option, which I thought was the right option, and I ended up canceling the mission. So, eh, it is what it is. Hopefully, that does not. Uh, affect our relationship, our business relationship going forward. But what we'll do now, because I have two bounties I need to claim, we'll head over to um, cash, cash in these bounties, get some new ones, and we'll go from there. Let's go ahead and pull up in this lot right here. Hey, where Joe at? Do we leave Joe? Joe, where you at, man? <laughs> Better hurry up. Always well, we gotta watch your back over here, game. cause freaks and zombie whores like to like to hang out by cash. Cash, uh, cash is a uh, zombie magnet. Greetings. I have many bounties okay, available. Right, so Please take a look. We'll go ahead and take that. We'll go ahead and cash that in. Hold up for a Joe, I'm right over here, man. Bring your ass. I wish you you should have been in this. the truck when I left from over there. Now you better be over here when I'm ready to leave, cause I'm almost done doing my transaction over here. Distract. I hope to see you again. Right. Oh shit! And there's a damn screamer. We out.
Joe, is that you? Joe, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Joe. Joe, you've been killing me this whole episode, Joe. You you have been bringing trouble, trouble and drama my way this whole episode, man. What are you doing, man? Come on, bro. I'm something in my own for a bit. My brother worked as a cop in this town. All right, so we are back home, y'all. We are back home. Long, long day. Long day out there in the streets, securing some outposts, taking out a plague heart. We are back at base to go ahead and drop some of this good stuff off. Um, definitely going to throw those in there. I don't know if I'm going to give those to anybody at this moment in time. Maybe. Okay, mm, man. All right. We will idea. throw this one over here. Now, this reminds me. I need to get my Burninator, man. I really, really do. Okay. We got a little horde over there. We got gas station. Got the Burro Gordo restaurant there. Now, I'm thinking I kind of really want to do some looting, a.k.a. shopping in some of these areas around the base that I have not cleared out yet. Hey, kiddos. Yo, what up? I'm back, y'all. I'm, I'm back. Your boy is back. Y'all better have cleaned up around here. Y'all better have cleaned up because the boss is back. Just double check, make sure everything up here is good. Tip top shape. Okay. Okay, okay. We look all right. All right, let's go ahead and go shopping, yo. <laughs> Have to make sure the crew cleaned up the base. Make sure ain't no zombie ass laying around or parts or arms or nothing of that such. No more dead right, ass here we go. Here. Should be able to get a nice, good food rug sack out of here. Got a guy on the, on the shitter in there. <laughs> he died on the shitter. All right, so let's see what's up in here. What do you got? What do we got? Parts. All right, that's not bad. Day 21. Minus one food and one med. That's not bad. That is not bad. We are doing good on that front. Uh, tube of fireworks. Yeah, we passing on that. What about over here? Da, 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 da. You know what I wish? I kind of wish that they would tweak the... I guess the vehicle damage the in some of these higher up. difficulties. Like Nightmare and... Uh -huh. And lethal, excuse me, Joe. I kind of wish they would do that. Uh, it doesn't have to be drastic. Let's get these fat boys over here. I'll catch them. They ain't nothing but trouble. And they're a little too close to my base. Yeah, I just kind of wish they would tweak that a little bit. Uh, doesn't Like I said, it doesn't have to be drastic. It doesn't have to be, you know, anything where it's like standard. But mm, I think the vehicles are a little too vulnerable in the higher difficulties. Just my opinion. All right, so we should be able to get, uh, let me catch him, we get this guy. Stop moving. Stop moving, damn it. Stop. Yep, oh, shit. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> He's fucking gone. Oh, God. All right, and there's a scream over here. Look at him. Because he's not moving. Joe, can you get him? Joe, can you get that? Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate you, Joe. Thank you. All right, so this is uh, materials, rucksack. All right, we'll come back to that in a minute. Now, this might be a fuel tank. Let's see what we got here. Uh, fuel, okay, all right, all right. So we got some good shit over here. Let's head up top here and hit this up. We might have to come back for some of these things. Let's see what's in here. Enclaves have new items for trade. Oh, shit. I thought Joe was a zombie climbing up here real quick. Bad, uh, weak painkillers. Okay, not too bad. All right, Joe. Let's get back. Let's head back. Don't worry about breath. that, Joe. I got him. I got him, Joe. Look at the ass and guts over there. That looks, that's all them bloaters. Left that mess out there. All right, so we got a little horde over here. We are not going to engage with all these on the Oh, this Molly. Burn, burn a bunch of them up real quick. And deal with the leftovers. All right, let's go. Let's go. Dip them. Dip them. All right, Joe, work them, Joe. Work them, Joe. <laughs> Joe, work them, Joe. Uh, work them. There you go, Joe. That's what I'm talking about, Joe. That's what I'm talking about. 
Good shit, Joe. That was good. That was good. All right. Let's go ahead and throw the stuff in we found and get ready to uh, wrap this one up. All right. So before we get up out of here, we are going to claim our leader. We're going to make the leader to the council is going to be drum roll. Duh, it's gonna be Kylie, y'all. <laughs> Just ready to throw a He got the warlord. We're gonna go ahead and make Kylie the leader uh, of the community here. Let me just make sure duh, duh, duh. she is warlord too, but I don't like her skills. We'll do Kylie. Kylie's got skills. We'll go ahead and um, set that right now. It was really close between Kylie and Ashley, but I think Kylie is the better choice. So there we go. That's the council for y'all. There we go. We are set. We have that leadership trait or leadership thing uh, accomplished here. And uh, that's it. That's it. We're going to get ready to wrap this episode up, y'all. So let's go ahead and get up here. Let's go, Roby. Let's go ahead and get ready to wrap this episode up. Um, let's get a recap in real quick. So this episode, we took out one plague heart. Um, we set up our second outpost, which is at a medical clinic. We need meds, uh, coming in and what else? Uh, we claimed our leader, obviously just a second ago. Kylie is the warlord leader of the, the council. Are getting nastier. The, the juggernauts. What, wait, what the hell? Oh shit. God damn, bro. They, they done threw two juggernauts and a horde at me right now. All right, let me get this. Let me finish this out. Y'all get the shaggy. And we still got a couple hordes, couple hordes. Um, we're at the wheelhouse truck stop base diner, whatever the hell you want to call it. Okay, I keep looking over here at our guests <laughs> keep coming down the street here. This is why I needed another outpost in the area, but it didn't even matter because we got a juggernaut at two juggernauts in a horde coming down the bleezy. Okay, this is <laughs> dangerous, y'all. I'm getting my anxiety levels is going up, but. We're going to go ahead. I'm going to keep an eye on him, but we're going to go ahead and get up out of here. And with that, we're going to end the video here. I appreciate you guys coming through today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, share this video if you're enjoying the content. Get at me over on Twitter, jhide201. I'm your host, jhide. This has been The Hideout. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.